Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is, uh, it's me. <laughs> um, I'm back and um, I'm late. I'm super late. I mean, I, I got excited to tell y'all my whole story. Uh, and then I got to working and ain't really had no time to to really get on here and do video and I had time to get on here and do video but um, you know when you in the trucking game and you out here on the street and trying to figure out where you gonna go and where you gonna sleep for the night and just everything and then it's like oh I'm supposed to do a YouTube video I don't feel like doing a YouTube video so that's what's been going on with me but it's the top of the morning for me 936 and I am 12 13 miles out of um, Springfield Missouri and there's a lot that I owe you guys and gals um, to those of you that 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 keeps up with, with my little my little struggling YouTube channel. <laughs> Let's just say uh, we're doing the best that we possibly can to create content. Um, I didn't know it was going to be so hard. You know, you you get in here, you're like. I want to do a YouTube channel. I'm on. I'm on. I guess I wanted to center it, center it around trucking, but it's more aspects of life of trucking. And then I'm not like one of them trucker truckers who know all about the appliances and the this and the that. So I'm really still feeling it out. So if you even watching this video in this two minutes that I've been speaking now, I just want to say thank you for putting up with me <laughs> for even finding me so worthy to listen to um so I want to first start off um talking about what really happened to me I think the last video that I posted I was telling y'all how I got fired from Warner and how you know the experience opened me up to a whole nother world um, um, of, of realization and then I missed being on the road and now I'm back. So, what happened? Um, okay, so before I started trucking, I stopped smoking marijuana. You know, you gotta do it in order to you gotta, this is my new beginning. You, you have to stop smoking in order to drive trucks. You know, I mean, people talk about ways around it. Oh, God, I hate that. I want the truck to be off. People talk about ways around it, but um, there, there, there's no way around it. There, there's no way but the right way. Now, I'm not going to go into all that because it's going to make my video long and that's not what I got on here to talk about. I, I'm talking about my experience. I stopped smoking and I was doing pretty good. And I'm not going to lie. Y'all, I, uh, what do you call it? I, I started, I enjoy smoking. If you are a smoker, you know what it is to get high and be up there so you know it was my thing it was my my go-to it was my coping mechanism and so I admittedly started back smoking like on the weekends um on my uh 34 hour when I would go home you know I hit it a little bit you know hit it and quit it um that does not go for that but uh I did that and I got used to it. I let myself get back in the routine of doing it and knowing the whole time I worked for a major company and um, that 
any point in time I can get popped for a random. You know, I even bought my little synthetic urine, you know, and I thought they'll probably call me into the headquarters and I'll be ready for them. Or, you know, I'll stop in time for me to get my, or renew my med card and all of that. Well, one damn day, I wasn't even at the headquarters. I was out in Longview, Texas. And this goes to show y'all how transparent I am. I really don't care. If if you work for Werner and you see this or whatever, you know, y'all, we living in a time where people need reality. So this might save somebody's life. Somebody who's smoking a day that needs to quit. Um, so I went to uh, the Longview one and I was supposed to be uh, uh, office for Dollar General, you know, where we get our loads, and I was supposed to be getting my packet uh, to be off, and when I went, my packet wasn't there. Now, so I'm like, well, dang, they didn't send me my load, my packet ain't here. What the hell is going on? So I go in the office, nobody was in the office, somebody was like, well, we'll see what's going on, blah, 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 blah. So I left out, I went, came back to the truck. And I'm like, hey, what's going on? Let me go back in there and see if they got it now. That probably should have been the time I grabbed my piss. But I didn't know. You don't know, because it's a random. So, I goes, and when I get in the office, I can see the head dispatch guy kind of like rushing out. I guess to get me, I don't know. I feel like in retrospect, he wouldn't, you know, didn't want me to leave or needed to, you know, let me know, hey, you know, safety is here to see you. But that's what I learned. Safety was on site and they wanted to see me. Now I'm used to safety coming on site, you know, to check to see, you know, give me a little run through, maybe a little, you know, whatever they do. Child, he was like, yeah, come on in. We went on in there. Before I know anything, he was like, you think you can pee in a cup for me? <laughs> I said, sure. But in the back of my mind, I was going, <laughs> like, oh, heart pounding. I knew that day I had lost my job. Now, granted, they did not fire me right away because they had to, you know, take the take them uh, the results of the test and all of that. They had to take it, you know, off site, mm -hmm, test it or whatever not. But that part happened. Uh, so I finished my routes all that week. But when, once I got home that for my 34, I knew that the next week, that like that next, that Monday when it was time for me to go back, I knew that I would probably not have a job. So I cleaned out my truck. I mean, I cleaned it completely out. I was like, I'm done. I'm done. Moral of the story is, if you big and bad enough to do anything in your life that is, that puts, let me just say, anything you big and bad enough to do, you ought to be big and bad enough to accept the consequences. So I already, I already knew that that was a possibility. I placed myself in that position. I was hoping for the best that it didn't happen. But working for the big, 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 big carrier, and the reason why I say that, because I know it's us out here that's, that still smoke. I don't smoke anymore. So if you see this, you're trying to report me. I mean, you don't know, because y'all don't know. You don't know where I, who I work for, where I work for. And I'm not going to reveal that um, for just purposes of the fact that this is a private company, so whatever. And I'm not about to put us out there like that. And I don't smoke, but the fact of the matter is, I know it's happening, you know? And like, I went and I'm gonna do a video, a separate video, um, cause I'm really trying to pace. Oh yeah, I'm, just, I'm getting a call, hold on just a minute. Good morning. Yes, I did. All right, thank you. You too. 
I am sorry about that. And I'm not even live. I'm recording. And I don't have the tools right now to knock this call out. So anyway, I hate when dispatch the people be calling, like, yeah, I dropped the trail off. Yeah, I did all this. Like, why don't y'all call the people and find out if they got the information? And not call me. But I guess I am the driver, as one of my friends said. Anyway, so I'm gonna do another video on the process of how to get back on the road, return to duty. Because that's one thing. Once I once I went under, I couldn't find too many videos out here on YouTube of people who was willing to get up and say, hey, look, I fucked up. And I smoked weed. And I had to go through the return to duty process. And some people say you don't have to. I mean, I did because I don't like nothing out there on record where I'm prohibited to do anything because that's really what happened in the drug and alcohol clearinghouse, if you, especially if you plan on going with like a major carrier or these, you know, companies and, and I think companies are required to register with the drug and alcohol clearinghouse so that your drivers can be screened or etc, cetera, etc cetera. Uh, but you know, there are some people who say you don't even have to do it, but I know for me I did not like my name why do I have that song? I did not like my name being in the drug and alcohol clearinghouse that says in big red, you are prohibited from operating any safety sensitive instruments or whatever, CMV, whatever. Like, so y'all, my life was torn beyond repair. I ended up working in a gas station. behind the register I learned all the cigarettes uh, <laughs> I had to make the coffee Lord Jesus I had to get the propane tanks you name it I was mopping the floors and cleaning the bathroom putting up with people um or rather people putting up with me because you know I'm a talker. It was indeed, it was indeed an experience and I missed the money. I worked for a convenience store and then I went, I moved to Dallas and when I moved to Dallas, I started working for Uber. Lord have mercy. Uber is another subject too. Oof. I started working for Uber and had to deal with all the drunks on a on a late Saturday night. Um just everything with everything. <laughs> Don't smoke marijuana with these major carriers they will get you in due season and in due time you will reap a harvest because you you <laughs> you if you faint not from smoking so I want you to faint <laughs> do not do not continue to smoke I'm telling you um, it, it, it's, it's uh, you do what you want to do I'm just letting you know that it can catch up with you. That was that was my story. Story of my life. Um, but I made a comeback. And now I'm rambling and I think I'm done. I'm going to come back. I don't promise anymore when I'm coming back because I have to pace myself. Although I would like to be one of these great YouTubers out here that's dropping videos every day or once every week. I gotta be in the mood to drop the video to tell you the truth. And if my fan base build up and I can do more videos and people like what I do, um, then I will. Uh, but I will do a video on the return to duty process. And that is the process that I that is, and I'm going to give you my version of what I had. Because I'm going to tell y'all, the devil was trying to kill me. I really, 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 really.
really went through trying to get back in this truck. But ta-da, as you can see, I'm in a truck. You know, it's used and you know, the curtains ain't working right there. <laughs> like, but I'm here because I'm grateful to be working for the people that I'm working for. They, they invested in me and brought me back. And um, so it was good talking to you, power to you. I'll be back. Uh...